Many people know black holes are scary, deep space objects that swallow objects forever, never to be recovered. However, what if we told you we actually live inside a black hole? Join us as we follow one of the most prominent scientists alive today, Michio Kaku, as he reveals this shocking truth that our existence all happens inside a supermassive black hole. While discussing the new images in the James Webb Space Telescope that proves the Big Bang is wrong. What is something that you believed for a long time and then got shattered to realize it wasn't true? Chances are you might not say answer the Big Bang because it is pretty popular as the explanation of how we got here. However, with the advent of the James Webb Space Telescope, the Big Bang Theory may not remain unassailable anymore, as the telescope has made observations that are challenging astronomers to change their thinking on their understanding of the beginning of the universe. Celebrated theoretical physicist Michio Kaku did not mince words when he described the latest shocking discoveries by the JWST. Well, that's the problem. The James Webb Space Telescope is upsetting the apple cart. All of a sudden, we realize that we may have to rewrite all the textbooks about the beginning of the universe. So what exactly is the latest discovery by the JWST that has eminent scientists rethinking the origin of the universe? Here, Kaku again. Now, it takes many billions of years to create a galaxy, like the Milky Way galaxy, with 100 billion stars, many billions of years old. But the James Webb Telescope has identified six galaxies that exist half a billion years after the Big Bang that are up to 10 times bigger than the Milky Way galaxy. That shouldn't happen. But then, why is the discovery of half a dozen large galaxies problematic for astronomers describing the origin of the universe? There should not be primordial galaxies that are bigger than the Milky Way galaxy that are only half a billion years old. Something is wrong. We may have to revise our theory of the creation of the universe. The galaxies that Kaku is talking about contain tens to hundreds of billions of stars. They emerged when the universe was only 500 to 700 million years old. This is significantly earlier and faster than expected by current models of galaxy formation, which imply that stuff progressively clumped together over time. The puzzle of how these galaxies became so large so quickly may require new physics or new techniques for creating galaxies. The finding of these universe breakers demonstrates that the JWST is providing a new view into the cosmos's early history and evolution. These occurrences may have an impact on how light travels across space and time, altering its perceived brightness and redshift. But these are all theoretical possibilities that will require further inquiry and testing with more data and better models. In the coming years, the JWST is expected to give more information about these strange galaxies and their consequences for cosmology and physics. The telescope is equipped with a suite of instruments capable of performing spectroscopy and imaging at multiple wavelengths, allowing for more extensive studies of their features and surroundings. The telescope can also observe greater portions of the sky and deeper regions of space, increasing the likelihood of discovering more examples of these universe breakers or ruling them out as statistical flukes. However, the JWST has recently discovered the first chemical signs of supermassive stars. And how large are these celestial monsters? So far, the largest stars ever observed anywhere in the universe have a mass 300 times that of our Sun. However, these supermassive stars are between 5,000 and 10,000 times heavier than our Sun, and they each have the brightness of the equivalent of millions of the Sun. The team of European researchers behind the study previously theorized the existence of supermassive stars in 2018 in an attempt to explain one of the great mysteries of astronomy. For decades, astronomers have been perplexed by the enormous diversity in the makeup of different stars packed into globular clusters. The clusters, which are typically very old, can hold millions of stars in a limited amount of space. Now, astronomical advances have discovered an increasing number of globular clusters, which are regarded to constitute the missing link between the universe's first stars and galaxies. 
There are around 180 globular clusters in our Milky Way galaxy, which contains over 100 billion stars. But the question remains, why do the stars in these clusters have such a diverse range of chemical components, despite the fact that they were apparently all created at the same time from the same cloud of gas? Many of the elements in the stars would require enormous quantities of heat to generate, such as aluminium, which would require temperatures of up to 70 million degrees Celsius. That is considerably above the temperature that stars are estimated to reach at their core, which is roughly 15 to 20 million degrees Celsius, equivalent to the sun. And so the scientists devised a possible solution, a raging supermassive star spewing forth chemical pollution to Einstein's general relativity equations, but they have never been observed or demonstrated to exist. Both ends of the wormhole would be connected to distinct worlds in this scenario. One end would be inside the parent's black hole, the parent's event horizon, and the other would be outside the child's black hole, the child's event horizon. Matter and energy that fall into a black hole in one universe may emerge as a white hole in another. A white hole is the polar opposite of a black hole in that it's a region of space into which nothing can enter but everything can leave. A white hole could serve as a source or seed for a new universe supplying matter, energy, space, time, and possibly even physical laws. This process has the potential to continue endlessly, resulting in an infinite hierarchy or network of universes within universes within universes. Each universe has its unique history, evolution, structure, makeup, and fate. Some worlds would be similar to ours, while others may be vastly different. Some universes may be older than our own, while others may be younger. Some universes may be isolated from others, while others may interact or collide. And this theory has some compelling aspects, such as providing a natural explanation for why our universe exists, how it was created, what it is made of, and what it will become. It also offers a possible solution to some cosmological puzzles, such as why our universe has lower entropy, why it has fine-tuned physical constants, why it has an inflationary expansion, why it has dark energy, why it has dark matter, why it has baryon asymmetry, why it has large-scale structure, why it has cosmic microwave background radiation, why it has primordial gravitational waves, why it has quantum fluctuations, why it has quantum entanglement, and so on. This theory, however, faces numerous difficulties and objections, including being highly speculative, untestable, unfalsifiable, incomplete, inconsistent, paradoxical, circular, ad hoc, anthropic, metaphysical, and so on. Here are some of the challenges and criticisms. How can we put this theory to the test or verify it? How can we view or communicate with universes outside of our own? How can we tell the difference between different sorts or degrees of universes? How can their properties or parameters be measured or compared? Do you think we live inside a black hole? Let's hear your thoughts in the comments section below.